no views of TBDC. This is, well, a Ferrari F8. I mean, what else can I say? I'm holding a Ferrari key right now. So let's get into it. So the Ferrari FF. Now this model of Ferrari is actually almost a decade old now. Because this model was conceived during the 2010 and 2011 era. That's when it actually came out. And while people, it was really met with a lot of criticism and hate because of the design of how it is. It's more of a shooting brake design because the spiritual, well, this is a spiritual successor to the Ferrari 612 Scaglietti or Scaglietti if you're in America. And people didn't really like the departure of a low slung Ferrari with a big V12 up front. Although this does have a big V12 up front, people still did not like how this was conceived because of the shooting brake style it was designed in. Well, what can I say? I mean, it's a Ferrari. You can't really say much when it's a Ferrari. I mean, anybody who says they own a Ferrari, they automatically are deemed as cool, no matter what Ferrari you have. I mean, look at the styling of this. This car has aged well, unlike some other cars that have graced our faces throughout the past years. I think this has honestly aged well in how it has become a design element because at the start of it, it was designed by Pininfarina, which is designated right there, which is a coach building company, Pininfarina. This was probably the last attempt with Pininfarina and Ferrari building a car. So this is a very special car. But the true spectacular benefit of this car is it's a bargain compared to modern exotics today. I mean, you have your Ferrari 488, 458, you have your Bentley Continentals, you have your Lamborghini um, Aventadors. I mean, those are big, big cars with big, big chunks of money. I mean, with a car like this, 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 car, this car only costs around 4 million Rand. I mean, 4 million Rand, you have a lot for 4 million Rand. I mean, you can buy yourself probably a new Bentley Flying Spur with that money. But, but this is way better because it's a sporty car. I mean, and also, it has a V12. V12s are a dying breed in today's market. It is such a dying breed. I'm sorry I'm just walking around a lot. I'm just taking in the design of this car. It is so beautiful, so elegant, so curvaceous, if I can even say that word. It just ticks the boxes of what a nice car should look like. It's so oh, impeccable. Italians really know how to design a car and design them well. And now the one thing about this car is it is really long. I mean the front of this car is exceptionally long. So looking here on your steering wheel, this is a very tiny steering wheel to power this big massive boat because it is really long and it's really really big compared to most Ferraris that you obviously know like the Ferrari 458 or the 488. So looking here, these are actually your turn signals. Because Ferrari is a racing brand, they want you to keep your hands on the steering wheel or at all times so that everything is within reach so like your steering wheel well your signals is right there your paddle shifters is right there so at least they labeled it up and this one down there's a seven speed dual clutch automatic and the funny thing is you expect a car's hooter to actually be in the center but because this is ferrari and well they like to do things that are crazy and weird the, your hooters are actually on the side here at at your 10 and 2 um, hand coordination. So this is where you actually hoot. Instead of going like this, you have to actually press the button here and hoot. So looking around here, you still this is your suspension right here. So to change it, if you want it to be in comfort, uh, comfort, uh, sports, sport plus, race, um, if you want it to be like that, then you have your engine start stop button right there, which is honestly very cool. It's like you're starting up a fighter jet, although it doesn't have the cover where you just flip it up unlike some Lamborghinis like the Hurricane where you just flip it up or the Ventero and then you just press the button but it's still cool then this is your Manettino dial so this is what actually configurates the entire car to make it more pleasurable so like you have your sports you have your comfort which is honestly very bizarre to me because Ferrari is a sports brand and I don't know why you would have a sports brand well the sports button right there and a sports button as well right there. it just doesn't make sense i expect the car that is ferrari to actually just be a whole sporty car so it is kind of a redundancy right there but then again this is a gt car so you have your sport button right there this is your esc off 
you have to actually press and hold for like a few seconds and then it's fully completely off i don't know why anyone would do that you are insane if you do that you will be spending a lot of money at the bank you'll be in debt you will never want to go home again because you have no money to pay rent or mortgage and then right here you have well all the way down here you have your wet mode so when it's raining at least this car is four-wheel drive so the power will actually be put down really easily because it's going to all four wheels instead of just the rear wheels just unlike most ferraris that you know or most supercars and sports cars that you know so this is your wet mode when it's raining uh, it limits the power a bit cuts the power to almost all four wheels then all the way here it's almost a flat bottom steering wheel and then all the way here this is your cruise control which ferrari calls pit speed because Ferrari always goes racing, so instead of making it cruise control, this is your pit speed. The, well, they call this pit speed, so you have to press it and then you have to set uh, which speed that you want to go at. Now, this is a very, very, very lovely interior. This, there's just leather here, there's metal right there. That's how you actually open, that's how you open, open the door. So you have to pull here first, then you recognize it, and then that's how you can open. So it's very it's very metallic here it's just high quality nothing feels like nothing is going to break nothing will fall off everything is everything is just there everything will work everything will function this is very nice leather there's your mirror right there which is really long i mean you can literally see the real haunches of the car you can just check that right there and then let's actually take the key and put it in and turn on the accessory power first And because of how long the door sill is, well, the door is, it's actually the seat belt is delivered to you on. Well, it's Ferrari noses. The seat belt is delivered to you by this little butler by here. And then when you buckle up, like I have to do right now, so that it will not beep at me, it goes away like a little butler. So now that the car is lit up with the gauges, so there is your speedometer right there. To check how fast you're going which will honestly be irrelevant on the racetrack because i will be taking this car if if i ever owned it on the racetrack almost half the time and obviously take it to a mall and just go buy groceries because you know it's a grand tour then you have your tack right there which is lit up in the background then you have p right there and it goes auto manual and all that those are your gears right there and it's a very nice this car shifts all the way to around set 8,000 rpm so you can hear that v12 in the background just pull you back and sink you in and then you have well many all your other um gauges so if i can switch the manatino dial right here you're gonna see comfort right there uh sports right there and then i won't turn off esc because uh, i don't want to clog up anything and then you got this button right here which is snow um yeah so you can take this car into into the snow which is very very nice i can't really say that about all the ferraris where you could take it into the snow so let's go back to here so here are your, your vents which actually look like fighter jets fighter jets uh, exhausts right there and then to turn it on you actually have to twist it it just feels nice just even the the sound it just feels nice and then although the, i think that, that yep that is plastic right there it's a it's high quality plastic but uh, what can you do? It's the Ferrari. And then here, yeah, this is a very old infotainment system. It is very laggy. Um, just you can see right there. No, just everything is old. Um, this came out during the era when USBs were still being used and Bluetooth was just starting to come into cars. So this is a very, very old system. It is very laggy. It takes a second for that to, to happen. Uh, navigation still you know, very very laggy and as you can see yeah this is this just feels like an old Garmin system from the early 2010s and late 2000s that's how old this feels this is just so laggy just to pinch and zoom is yeah I mean let me just get out of this uh, anyway so there's your your main screen right here and then it says Ferrari right there and everything here is it, this is high quality leather this is generally leather right here and so looking down there you have your pedals you have accelerator right there gas pedal right there and then you have your 
break which is very very big very 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 big and then you have your dead pedal right there which is for your left leg well because on you go on long journeys with a car like this so you expect to have at least some decency with, with having your leg just there because it's an automatic car it's not a manual car and then you have your automatic climate controls if i turn this up if i can turn it Yeah, it's blowing a bit, but let me not put it all the way. And so if you look right here, this is actually your, rever your reversing button. So like I said before, um, in my Ferrari 488 review, you actually have to use the pedals to to actually drive the car because there's no gear shift or gear lever to actually pull. So, th so you have to pull up for one. And to actually go back into reverse, you have to press a button all the way down here, which just feels so nice and so solid like nothing will ever just break and right here that's your auto so if you want to if you want the car to shift automatically for you it, it will do that for you and then this right here is your launch control so this car launches from 0 to 60 or well 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.6 seconds for a car that weighs almost two tons oh well not really two tons but like under two tons that is really impressive for a car that weighs almost under two tons that is really really impressive but it's all due to the fact that it has a four-wheel drive system and a v12 up front with a lot of power so looking here these are your window controls i know you were looking for the window controls right here this is where you actually do it so you have to this is your it's your driver window and that's your passenger window And to make this car really quiet, this is actually double glazed, as you can see, this is double glazed, this is a double glazed window, which is really, really cool. And then right there you have your lights, you have your auto lights right there, uh, let me just turn them off right now. Yeah. And then, you have your, you have your glove box right here, if I pull this up. Which is very nice even down to the glove box it feels nice in here then you have your cigarette lighter right there it feels very nice in here and looking up you have your mirror and then you have your your visor which doesn't have a mirror which i expect ferrari to have yeah this is where that's how it, it goes let me just put this back and then looking here your glove box it's an electronic glove box we have to open with a button right there which says open <laughs> you can just look it's a very tiny glove box i'm not even going to try reaching today although it does have a usb a usb charging port and then right at the end right there it says ff in true ferrari fashion to just label things then in here this is just probably for a credit card or many cards that you don't need to really have in your pockets and then here that's your, this is your speaker system right here this is very high quality leather this is very 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 high quality leather even down to the cup holders well not really cup holders but red bull holders if i say that because this, this is a very small this is a very small cup holder tray ah it's even rubbery everything in this interior is to the highest of standards you will not get in here and just complain about oh there's not enough leather there's not enough luxury a apart from the infotainment system which is just all and bad and just i would honestly just replace this with something else with ferrari's new um infotainment systems that they use but other than that this is a very impeccable co interior okay look bear in mind with me people i'm only five foot eight and the height of this car comes up to around my waistline so if i can't get in do not blame me although it ferrari has stated that you can fit almost four comfortable people here and just go on a nice cruise to germany france monaco anyway so let's actually get into the back wait for it and then like a try squeeze into here oh this is a very special back seat oh, this is a very special back seat wow 
this is a very spacious bed seat here. I, mean, I am sitting comfortably, although probably leg room won't be the best thing. So sitting back here, I am well set comfortably. The panoramic glass roof is very, very beautiful. You can just look up and see the sky um, if we're not in the dealership right now. If we're driving and it's at night that you would see the stars just shining and it would be so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful so beautiful. You have a grab handles right here, which is yeah, very, very sturdy. It doesn't feel like they'll break anytime soon. But sitting back here, um, I'm five foot eight, and well, the, while the seat is a bit forward, my legs are kind of squished. You know, people over maybe six foot two would struggle, but I guess it's uh, their problem um, that that they can deal with. But other than that, it is a very spacious back seat. People who are at least five foot at, or at least six foot will be comfortable back here for journeys on in. You could do journeys miles in in this forever and not be tired at the end of it and so as we look around that's your your center right here and embroidered with the ferrari badge if i turn it right there embroidered with the ferrari badge in and it's stitched inside so it's not a decal that you can just remove it's stitched inside right there and so looking here this is your center storage, which is also <laughs> very, very nice. Sorry, sorry about that. Which is also very, very nice. Then you have your charging port right there. So you can charge your devices like your phone or a small laptop or a, um, yeah, many, many of those. Then you have your cup holders right here. Your cup holders right here. But you can't really see because it's very, very dark, but there. Probably you can see them now. I just, yeah, I just put it like that. It's also finished in leather. This is a very, very high quality car. And you have the air vent right there pointing towards here, but you can actually just shove them here and switch them on like that. Every click just feels high quality. Every click, how, and just how you turn it on and off. It doesn't even matter if you're driving the car, just sit inside and just start feeling things. It is such high quality such high quality uh, I love this backspace right here and then then you can probably you can probably see me sitting right here I am well comfortable back here I have plenty of headroom uh, headroom is nice because of the panoramic glass roof so headroom is very very fine I'm five foot eight so I'm all right uh, you can see your rear quarter panel windows also finished in leather I mean, this is a very very high quality car and um, also here you have your felt right there well this is more leather right here you have your speakers right here then you have your seat belts you have your seat belts right here if i pull there's your seat belts so let us go to the trunk well the boot um let I me mean, let's go to the boot so you actually have to press a button on the key to press a button on the key well press and hold that or you have to press a button down there by the driver's door sill. So looking in here, you have your trickle charger because you need it for cars like this. Because, you, well, most of the time you won't really be driving them and you don't want the batteries to die. And with a Ferrari, batteries are always dying every 24-7. And you have your charging port right there. If it's, uh, for you, this is mainly for your rear occupants. Your charging port right there. Finished in leather. This is your big loading depth, which is yeah, you can punch this and nothing is gonna fall through. This is very, very high quality. This is even metallic. Most of these things in regular cars are just plastic. These are usually just plastic right there. And if you have your hooks right there for anything that you want, so like your groceries, you can hang your groceries there. And, well, let's lift up here. Well, this is your typical Ferrari kit, so whenever like you want to try fix your Ferrari which you are probably insane because you will probably break something else but if you break down on the side of the road you need to fix something quick this is there to help you this has been a Ferrari hallmark for the past almost 50 years so usually with customers with new cars that they buy with the new cars that they buy 
they give you a supply kit of what you would need maybe if you break down on the side of the road it's electric power handbrake so this is where the handbrake is so do not put your hand right there otherwise you will be finished then this is your little bag this is your little bag right here don't really know what, what this would be for oh yes these are your ferrari gloves so that you do not get your hands dirty when you have to change the tires on the side of the road so if i can try put these on i put them on right there with the ferrari logo right there which if they sold at auction those will be probably worth like a thousand rand because after all it is a ferrari and everything just costs a lot so yeah these are the, your ferrari gloves to so just change your tires on the side of the road so that you don't get them don't get your hands dirty very typical ferrari so apart from that since the boot is actually pretty practical considering how of a sloping rear design this is it's actually pretty practical though with this hump maybe with uh, many many cases it wouldn't really fit but with maybe a passenger of yours not really many friends you can take two bags and fit them perfectly apart from this let's go have a look at the engine so let's close here the funny thing is about the ff most models actually did not come with automatic tailgating so when i actually pressed the button to open here i was so surprised to hear that the ff came with an automatic tailgate well this model came with an automatic tailgate because a lot of them didn't i think it was an optional extra although this the successor to this the gtc4 luso it did come fully standard with a power tail tailgate so at least that was a benefit so let's go check out the the engine bay okay we just have to open here again look for the catch which is usually in the middle Here, if I'm not mistaken, right there. Woo. So, people, what you are looking at is a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated V12. This was by far the largest engine configuration that Ferrari ever put in their cars at the time, uh, being the 2011 2012 era. Because up to that point, only the 599, which is a 5.9 liter V12, was the largest that they had up until the FF came along. So this is a very beautiful engine bay. I could stare at this all day just looking at this engine bay. Here's the intake intakes that go into the car. I can feel right now it was actually out on a test drive. Yep, very, 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 very nice. And this is a beautiful engine craftsmanship. You have Ferrari plug number right there, chassis number, sorry. So number 214638. So Ferrari made quite a few of these. You know, most of this is actually covered with spongy plastic. Surprisingly, spongy, spongy plastic. You know, I can just take... And the power output of this car is around 650 horsepower, which is adequate for anyone, anyone big or small anyone that would just feel like okay i want to just go or i want to just relax and around 700 newton meters of torque or 800 newton meters of torque so this is a very very punchy engine and it's a very very big engine i could just let you stare at this all day and the bonnet is just massive it is so big and it's so wide it literally the whole front end of this car is just while well, the whole car is literally just the front quarters I mean, if I stand here, it's literally just the front. If I just stand right here, it's literally just the front. And the nice thing is about, well, Ferraris in general, the V12 is mid-mounted, actually. So it's behind the front axle of the front wheels. So it's better for weight-to-weight -weight distribution. So when you're going quickly, it's very, very nimble, and it's very, very quick, and, it's, and it produces less weight on the front section of the tires because again this is a four-wheel drive car so you have your gearbox right there it's usually in the front right there or towards the middle 
and then you have your engine on front of it so that will create a lot of weight and that would slow the car down and will make the car even heavier which is something that ferrari just prioritizes not to do so this is a front mid-mounted v12 which as you can see is in it's behind the front tires the front axle this is a front mid-mounted v12 actually why don't we hear what it sounds like yeah why don't you hear what it what it sounds like Thank you for watching TVEC. See you next time.